Hey everyone, Jack here, Talk Norwich City. I hope you're well back for my match preview slash predicted 11 ahead of this Friday's game against Swansea City. There's still a fair chunk of this season left, 11 games to go, um, and we only have one game left at a Saturday, 3 o'clock. The latest game to be changed is Wigan away. That's now at midday on a Sunday. Awful, awful time. However, Norwich have reduced the ticket price of that to £7.50 for adults and £2.50 for under 18. So that's really good. Coach travel has been slashed as well. So hopefully we can sell our 5,000 ticket allocation out there. In terms of this Friday's game, once again, another game on Sky Sports um, against Swansea City. Swansea, for me, one of the teams I looked at and felt they might sneak into the top six at the start of the season. Um, of course, in the Premier League last year, they've had a few problems off the pitch. I know their chairman left about a month ago, I think it was now, and, that, and they've struggled a little bit this season, it must be said. They're currently 14th in the division, seven points off the playoffs, so it's certainly still a possibility. Stranger things have happened with 11 games to go, but you would say their chances are slim now. Um, their previous three games have been a convincing um, 4 1 victory against Brentford in the FA Cup. Brentford, of course, have been in really good form recently. They then went on to lose 3 1 away at Sheffield Wednesday, who I think have been unbeaten under Steve Bruce. And then last week they beat uh, the, the, the struggling Bolton, it has to be said, 2 0. Um, they've got some fantastic players, Bersant Salina, Ollie McBurney, um, Daniel James, of course, nearly went to Leeds. So th there's some, there is some talent in there, but. We all know what Norwich City are capable of. We're now four points clear of third place, thanks to Sheffield Wednesday picking up a point against their rivals, Sheffield United, in the week. So whatever happens, even if we were to lose on Friday night, we'll still be in the top two come um, the close of this game week. With that being said, this is the team I would go for. It has to be Tim Krul in goal. I thought he was really good against um, Millwall, actually. He pulled off a few really good saves. He's commanding his box a little bit more. Um, he pulled off that fantastic save at the near post against against um, Millwall, which he struggled with a little bit at times. The key thing for me when he played against Bristol City was that real good catch late on in the game. Um, he, he rose above a couple of strikers um, and just caught the ball with real kind of ease and calmness and it was just good to see. Krul has really grown into a good championship keeper, it has to be said. The defence for me stays unchanged. Uh, so it's Jamal Lewis, Christoph Zimmerman, Ben Godfrey and Max Ahrens. I know that Ben Godfrey um, said in his interview after the game against Millwall that he's learnt a lot off Tim Close. Tim Close has been constantly giving him advice, which is really nice because I can imagine if you're Tim Close or Grant Hanley, it's been a rather frustrating season, more so for Grant Hanley, just being kept out of the side because the two players ahead of you are performing really well. Zimmerman has been magnificent this season. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets in the top three um, for, for the player of the season. And Ben Godfrey has stepped into the role so maturely and, and so brilliantly. So that's the defence for me. The midfield, there is going to be a change. I'm going to go with, with Moritz Leitner in there next to Tom Tribal. Now, harsh on Kenny McLean, I know, but I just feel like this game is going to be slightly more expansive than, we, than we've seen in, in previous weeks. And I just feel like that kind of metronomic fashion that March Leitner has about him will be really crucial in a game like this. And look, if, if McLean starts, I'm not going to lose sleep, put it that way. I'm not going to be saying fuck out anytime soon if McLean starts this game. But for me, it's March Leitner. It's just a preference. Um, I've missed that kind of ability for him to control the tempo of games quite a bit. Um, I just miss watching him, basically. Uh, and then the forwards, uh, the, the, the front four, I should say, um, stays the same for me. Buendia, uh, Stieperman, great to see him score against Millwall. Out on the right-hand side, it's Argos Hernandez. And then up front, it's Tamao Puki. Um, Puki scoring goals. Once again, born to score goals, scoring goals uh, against Millwall. Hernandez influential once again and Buendia. That front four, Buendia, Stiefelman, Hernandez and Puki, in a lot of previous seasons, any one of them players could have won 
um, player of the season. They've all just been absolutely magnificent. Buendia is really quite something. I think he wouldn't look out of place in any Premier League team. Stieperman is a fantastic championship player and has really found his role. And I think that's thanks to Farker as well. Pukki, well, Pukki, unbelievable finisher. Probably one of the best finishers I've seen in a Norwich City shirt in my lifetime. And Hernandez, I criticised... Well, I didn't criticise him. I, I said if there was any player in this team that I didn't think would quite make the step up to the Premier League as well as others, it would be Hernandez. It's just... He's very raw, isn't he? he, he his final product is sometimes lacking, but he's picked up assists, he's picked up goals this season, he has been magnificent, and he absolutely loves Argos. So you can't really moan too much about that. In terms of Friday ga Friday's game, I can't see us not winning. Um, and I haven't said... I've said that a lot this season, but I just don't know where our weaknesses is, are in this squad. We, we, we will definitely create chances, and when you've got Pookie up front, you're probably going to score goals. I think out of the past something like 10 home games, in seven of them we've scored three or more, which is unbelievable. The midfielders are, are really um, playing well, and, and defensively we look quite strong. Um, I think there are goals to be leaked in this squad, but I just know that we're going to create chances. So for me, I go into every single game at the moment knowing that we are going to score at least one goal. So it then all depends on how well we, we defend. Swansea certainly can't be written off. I think they're a, a good team, um, but I think we're better than them. It's as simple as that. I think we're better than them. So if we win this game, it mounts huge pressure on both Leeds and Sheffield United because then they have to win just to keep up with the pace. Um, so this is a really good opportunity for us. Once again, another big game. I'm going to be saying that for the next... 10 match previews after this one, but they really are all huge now. It's our league to lose. And when you're in that position, it gets slightly nerve wracking, but what an exciting place to be in. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. A massive thank you to Fans Bet for sponsoring all of the videos. Um, if you fancy Flutter this weekend, why not go into the description and follow the link through to Fans Bet. Really good odds over there. And uh, yeah, that's the team. Have a look. Would you make any changes? If so, let me know. If not, give it a like and live the dream. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.